we're uh, turned on to some more awful meatloaf audio. This is a quick Oh, beautiful. Might be a good way to start the show, and then Absolutely. we'll move on to more Bob Kelly audio. Uh, we got Bob Kelly acting that we got to get to. From meatloaf to meathead. <laughs> <laughs> get it? Get it? Call me a kidder. <laughs> uh, meatloaf. One of the listeners turned us on to this. He, uh, he kind of stood us up today. Not kind of. The fucking fuck him and fuck those fucking PR people that fucking douched us. I couldn't say that on you know CBS that way, but mm -hmm. fuck of course them. Not. Fuck them in the shitter, motherfuckers. What happened? We were kind of doing him a favor too. That's what's. That's... He did this dog shit documentary, uh, this fucking tedious nonsense. Uh, you know, like a you know, with, with the, the big thing was the camera crews were watching him because he was going to be doing a, a DVD in Canada. It's a whole who Ooh, gives a fuck big thing. Big build up to his big DVD. Uh, who gave a shit. And the mm. critics were attacking him because he does this fucking campy Paradise by the Dashboard Lights reenactment with the girl who's way too young to be doing it with. And it's just gross. And it's embarrassing. And it's like, dude, you're trying to be like fucking, what are you doing? You're wearing a football jersey. You look like an asshole. <laughs> he looked like a fucking asshole. <laughs> Was he in today? Did he no, come he was in? supposed to come in today. We were going to talk no. about his. I'm, I'm kind of glad he didn't because what would I have said about this? I'm looking, I'm yes, looking. Yeah. yeah. No, just show uh, Bob Kelly and Rich Voss the picture because, you know, Meatloaf ages like a motherfucker <laughs> and the, the girl has stayed the same age. What happened? <laughs> Nothing. It's just. <laughs> it's. Uh, E-Rock had pulled those pictures up, right? Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll find, because I need the name of the girl. So. Yeah. Uh, her name is, uh... What are we laughing Aspen at? Miller. I'm confused. No, I was Aspen laughing because Dan was like, like, uh... E-Rock picked those up. Those pictures. It's hard to find the pictures. <laughs> oh, okay. She's really a pretty girl, and she's a great singer. But, uh, it's just, it was a whole gives a shit thing. And Meatloaf just comes off looking like a hypochondriac and a fucking prima donna. But now that he's 60 or close to 60, he's 60. His, the chick should be about 30. It's still... 30? She should be in her 50. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm being, <laughs> yeah. But I'm being polite. I mean, the girl he's using is barely 20. What's the matter? Why'd you hire this chick? Wasn't fucking B. Arthur available? You <laughs> asshole. Uh -huh. You fucking pompous asshole mistreating your camera crew. <laughs> that fucking shitty who cares documentary. Ooh, what's gonna happen? Will he quiet the critics? Oh. Don't waste your money. He quiets them by putting on a fucking wig. It's so embarrassing. He has to wear a wig so it looks like a retro tribute to that shitty fucking tuxedo video he did in the 1970s. Which it still probably doesn't look like because he's just a... Uh... A slob. Of course he is. And he's fucking, he has hair like Valerie Bertinelli in it. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the wig. It's fucking horrendous. Look at that. It looks like John yeah. Candy right before he died. Oh, look at the size of him. He has the balls. That looks like Nathan Two Lanes. <laughs> 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 he's wearing a vest. Oh. He's got a buttoned vest on. Holy shit. Hey, it's fucking Hitchcock singing to a hot chick. <laughs> what these, the fuck? And it's, these pictures aren't as bad because those are a little older. No, you gotta see. You gotta the see the new one where he he looks like your dad in a uh, football jersey. He's wearing the sports jersey, like that that groveling fucking move. Every every uh, place they go, there it is. Look at this one. So look this, this one is the best one. There it is. The collared shirt under a she's, sports jersey. Oh, look, 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 she's still the same age from the 70s, and he's, yeah. he's pushing 60. It's fucking horrendous. He's got <laughs> a stupid football jersey oh, on. Oh, yeah. just what are you doing? Just dad going to the look high school that. game. Look at him. Holy look shit. at that fucking God. Tom Arnold creep with his awful pants. His fucking, what kind of fucking rock star <laughs> wears a fucking Chargers jersey with a collar shirt outside of it, you jizz bucket? And, and she looks like Punky Brewster. <laughs> <laughs> the little white boots. Kind of hot. Oh, she's, she's very sexy. A hot Punky Brewster. She's sexy, but they have to do a little makeout. Mm -hmm. And it creeped people out yeah. so badly, their fucking campy, awful reenactment. It's like a father yelling at his daughter that now is instead exactly of. exactly what it looks like. <laughs> instead of. Why the he, he makes out with thing. her? <laughs> yeah, but it's, yes. it's, it's, it's just yes. gross and uncomfortable. With her Dorothy Hamill hair. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And, uh, yeah, they have to do a kiss, but it was. <laughs> it, it, the critics trashed him so bad mm -hmm. that, uh, oh god this is it wait here it is oh, oh you look at that look at his sweaty head his uh. breath is probably awful because he's been fucking drinking red bull and singing <laughs> 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 fucking old man breath red <laughs> bull and cheese breath. sandwiches <laughs> Meatloaf fucking, again? Huh? His, <laughs> yeah. His breath like Tums. Fucking old antacid breath. <laughs> <laughs> fucking rotten sweaty brow. 
Oh, he gives me the fucking oh, he's creep. Just sweating all oh. over that. I'm happy. I think we're turning the corner here because for a while we were worried about uh, trashing people because we're trying to get more guests on our show. But at this point, you got to say fuck them. And he uh, looks like he just walked out of OTB before he kissed her, just beaten down, fat yeah. old man. It's uh, yeah, it looks like Colin Quinn making out with a chick. Yeah, and yeah, fucking well, people. Yeah. You know, here's the PR uh, people. Uh, uh, John Murphy, uh, do? MurphyPR.com. Maybe you guys mm. know John Murphy or uh, Marley Wilson. Uh, from Voom PR, which I mean, how Voom PR is it? Voom V R. Yeah, the sound of a little car Vroom? makes when a child. No Voom V O O M. Oh V O O M. Oh. Yeah, and because right, uh, I've heard of Voom, they're the ones who did the. Uh, <laughs> they're the ones who did this Voom media, and good not to fucking have them come on a nationally syndicated radio show that's on in two countries and replays. You fucking dummies. Well, you well, fucking dumb motherfuckers. And what was the excuse why I didn't come on? Can I ask? Well, there was a scheduling glitch. He was never technically confirmed. Really? Is that why you gave us two copies of the movie, you shit dicks? Two copies of it. We promoted it. We promoted that he was coming in. And then they go, no, he was never really confirmed for today. Turns out he's not doing any press for today. They say he's got meetings all day. Really? At 8 in the morning he has meetings? Do you think I'm a fucking dummy? Well, oh, yeah, but he doesn't yeah, have yeah, to yeah, 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 attorney. <laughs> Why would I ask that? Uh, Why would I ask that? So where, <laughs> we, where do we direct all this anger uh, to? I we, we, have, we have pests out there. We didn't even ask them, but the pests have attacked the Boston Herald online uh, website and, and shut the damn thing down. Well, I would never Just because we were making fun of the, the fat manatees up there. I wouldn't say go to uh, murphypr.com and attack them. I, I would only no. say to email John Murphy... Or, or, or maybe Marley Wilson at Voom PR. If you know them, and if maybe you, you think that you have a rational explanation for what happened, and maybe they could, they would c contact you. You know, I would never ask anybody to to, to write inappropriate emails. No. Only if uh, you know. Again, maybe you th we have a lot of listeners. Mm hmm. So if one of you guys knows them, you might call. This happens frequently. Whatever. Yeah. I don't know. Are you uh, asking for the intelligent? branch of the uh, the pest organization to take this one on? Yes, yeah, really, serious uh, emails only. Yeah, only if you know them or whatever. Yeah. I, I mean, we don't need junk emails, but the, the bottom line is they fucked us, and I, call, I called John Murphy yesterday myself, because I'm like, we always beat these guys up, we never talk to them, and he's like, oh no, it was never confirmed, and... Oh, you talked to John Murphy? Yes, I did. And I'm mm. like, well, we'll just, you know, we're going to deal with it on the air tomorrow. I'm, we're he goes, I know you're bummed. I go, no, we're not bummed. We're furious. We've had it. We've had tired it. Tired of being shit on. We're tired of it. Especially a meatloaf-sized shit. I, I know. It's giant. Exactly. Ugh, dinosaur. Fucking big, giant, thick, like a fire plug log. <laughs> it's but pathetic that we were blown off by meatloaf. Especially mm -hmm. since he didn't ha I, if, if we he turned up on Regis. We thought it might be a, yeah. a, a good little thing to check out. I'm you sure know? he'd be a good interview. The guy was at the Parkland Memorial Hospital when fucking Jackie got out of the car. Well, yeah. He saw Governor Connolly get out of the car. In Dallas? Yes. What was he doing down there? He lived down there. He's from Dallas. And he was in the hospital yes. doing what? Hopefully Getting he was a, in a, a book stomach depository. stapler? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a book depository. Like a fucking cockroach eating the glue that holds the book together. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. And, and it annoys me. The only reason I attacked him so hard today is because he fucking, his people knew, by the way, that we had been promoing this. It got back to his people, and they still uh, didn't have him come on. So fuck him and fuck them. Uh, as a yep. performer, if I knew a radio show, a national radio show had promoted me and stuff like that, and it was a mix-up, that was because of the fucking cocksucker PR people who don't give a fuck. They'll just overbook them and then go, oh, sorry, and they'll, they'll cut out what they think is the weakest link. So sorry you consider the Opie and Anthony show the weakest link, you fucks. Yeah. Fucking liars. Let's all just fuck meat now. Ooh. <laughs> Fuck a meatloaf. Fuck meat. That's it. We'll make a meatloaf just, drill a hole meat in it. And just start fucking it and send the <laughs> pictures to them. Mm. Here's the first uh, time I fucked meat. This uh, was sent in by a listener. Meatloaf on the Today Show. Um, first 30 seconds, whatever. But uh, it's the end of I Would Do Anything for Love. Listen to the weirdness in his voice. <laughs> <laughs> he went from his song to backup on his song. What the yeah. fuck was that? I heard. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Jimmy, I, I gotta ask you something. Uh, Josh from Rochester. Oops, I just accidentally attached a photo of a gaping ass with a pile of dicks in it to John Murphy. I was just trying to send an inquiry as to why Meatloaf couldn't come on the show. Could you apologize on air for me so no one else makes this mistake? Yeah. That would be bad, right, Jimmy? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah we absolutely. apologize for that. Uh, I think these publicists, uh, they need to realize that we uh, have a huge, faithful audience. And then maybe we wouldn't get, uh, we won't be blown off as much as we are. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, this mm -hmm. is my, uh, my questions uh, before. The questions I asked before, I was just wondering if the people in Pal Talk um, had, had had to listen to those questions and thought they were fine. Okay. okay. Yeah. Back to the uh, ending of I, uh, I would do anything for love. <laughs> Your song yes, to his wife will. today. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing a vest and a big dumb scarf. Stop those fucking jowls from flopping outdoors. She should get an Academy Award for the acting she was doing <laughs> oh, <laughs> on that stage. Oh my right. god. She's she, looking in his eyes with lust. Are you kidding me? Yeah, she was. She's hot too. God. She's calling the wedding band back now to go to them. Get it? 